You see, the Bible says, don't tell gossips confidential things. Do we have any gossips in the room? Well, the one, they're outside, the one's in the back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, I think there, kind of, there might be a gossip here, and they'll get back to my wife, and then I won't know who, who to shoot. <laughs> Welcome to Celebrate and Cover, you guys. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. Can you please join me in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you as a whole, thankful for another day not promised. Father God, I pray that you be with everyone in this room today, you be with them throughout the recovery, and I pray that somebody in this room could get something out of tonight's lesson. And we say that in your son's name, Jesus, amen. 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 So we got a special, <laughs> we got a special guest tonight, the fisherman. Yeah. Uh, Woo! Join us I'm going to tell you, this guy over here is talented. He's never played bass with a group for this first time. He just good. jumped right in. Good. That, that's, a, that's a true brother in Christ. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Lord. I just want to speak the name. Thank you. 
my kingdom is no gospel. The gospel, that's where we're to spread. The gospel. Jesus, that's it. <laughs> Isn't that something? two months and he has a guitar tuner and I've been playing with this guy for 20 some years out of tune <laughs> he took me he took me he took my guitar it was way off and everybody still liked it why they're not listening they're listening to the message right the message yeah he, tonight I got here all out of whack again thank god Ian I am king Ian it starts with an I but it's Ian yeah I have that's part of that learning the English in school. So <laughs> paying attention to the teacher. I can only imagine. Till God says it's over, right? Yeah, yeah that's it. I like, I like, uh, uh, I heard it the other day a, a lady, but this, but this guy named, uh, he got my name, Thomas. I'm Richard Thomas. This guy's David Thomas. Anybody heard of him? You ever eat hamburgers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. David Thomas. 
You know how he got started? He took, he took, uh, who's the old guy that went around big beard? Kentucky Fried guy. Mm -hmm. He took this Kentucky Fried, four or five of his stores that were going, this Kentucky Fried was trying to get in business, right? This David goes to work at one of them. <laughs> and, and this Kentucky Fried guy says, man, we're making money in here. Okay, you made the, he put him the manager. He start David Thomas was like, didn't have much of a family life. No father and just, I don't know, just goofy, you know. Father, but was an absentee father, I don't know. Anyway, but, so anyway, he went to work 12 years old, he lied. He said, oh, I'm 16. He put him in cooking at the grill, at 12, see. But he became a good chef, so he, he takes, Colonel Sanders gives him these four stores that are one broke. So he took them. Got them very cheap. See? What's what's David do? These four stores become he starts the drive through and I mean just he makes these Kentucky fried booming. See what somebody throws away, you pick it up, might be good, see? So I anyway, think he, he got all those stores booming. He made Kentucky fried what it is. <coughs> see, David did. But it is, this was what I was going to tell you. What a re, what, you ever had any regrets in life? Yeah. See, he'd go, David Thomas would go around talking to school, tell him, well, get an education. Get this girl in, in the school one day, eighth grade or something, how was Well, you never graduated. Oh, boy. See, we need to practice what we preach. So David Thomas, he, that actually made him go back to the original school that he dropped out of early and got his high school graduation at 50 some years old or something. <laughs> Never too late, see that? David Thomas was just, here's a problem he had though. I don't want none of you guys to do this. He took it so serious, his hamburger business, he neglected his family, neglected his wife. He was never there. He's always, go we'll check this door, go we'll check that door. So what 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 was he out of? What was David Thomas out of? My wife reminds me all the time. David Thomas's life was not balanced. Balanced. Ah, you can work, make money, but take some time off for your family. Even even <clears throat> even hey, they had they got these mules, two teams of mules at. Uh, uh, Where's it? You go down the canyon, Arizona. Grand Canyon. And they took, they took, they said, uh, uh, <coughs> we're gonna, you, this team of mules, this, we're gonna work them every day, seven days a week. The other ones, we're gonna give them Sunday off. Mules, come on. The end of the one year, it's a one year program. The ones they worked seven days a week, you know what happened? They couldn't even get up anymore, they were done. The ones that got the day off and rested, no, could still go the next day working. Jesus would walk by crowds of sick people coming to be healed. Get in the boat and go. He said, you know what he's telling the people? You burned me out, I need rest. <laughs> I, I, I'm burned out. One gal touched his garment, not, spent all her money bleeding, a woman bleeding, couldn't heal. Touched the garment. And he says, who touched me in the crowd, right? You ever read that in there? Mm -hmm. Who touched me? And this apostle say, they're all bumping up against you. No. He felt the power go out of him. Them healings drained him. See that hard work? Like the mules, you know? They drained him. Yeah, who touched me? I know someone's touched me. Can you anybody guess? Jesus. Jesus said, oh boy, he touched me. How much more do you want? One more. One more. Sounds good. Two more. Two more. Three more. Hey, who's the boss? Jesus. That's right. All right. Okay. Let's do the last one. He knows. He knows my name. You got that one there? Yeah. You know Tommy Walker? Anybody know Tommy Walker? No. He's a down in L.A. Chuck Smith Church down in L.A. Worship leader. There. He's still alive. He wrote this song. 
I love this stuff.